Chilling na nga mood, lagi nakatulala Hawa ko ang bote, sabay tuwang tuwa And sitting like a king, kahit wala namang pera Ngayon na nga buhay kapag marunong tumira Damn, wag ka maingit Hey guys, I am Yeldo. So, gusto niyo ba malaman kung paano mag-mix ng full song in FL Studio? And by saying full song, meaning di ito yung typical mixing na beat and vocals lang, aka two-track mix. This is a multi-track mixing tutorial. So, meaning lahat ng instruments ng beat ay imimix natin individually plus the vocal tracks. Okay, so let's get started. So ito yung multitrack session ko, isa to sa mga many many old songs na minix ko way back 2019. I'll play a little preview sa verse section and I'll explain first yung mga plugins na ginamit ko for mixing the beat and after that the vocals. Okay, so let's play. Hawa ko ang bote, sabay tuwang tuwa And sitting like a king, kahit wala namang pera Ngayon na nga buhay kapag marunong tumira Damn, huwag ka maingit cause worms In DZ, chillin na nga vibe Nananatiling malupet Di na maitatagi, marami sa amin ang ingit Pero di naman namin kayo na masisisi Ganyan na talaga kapag galing ka sa Proud DZ Whoa, dami na nangungot ya Uh, hmm Let's start sa my beat section. Ito yung meron ng processing with all the plugins. And then, ito naman yung nakabaypas lahat ng processing sa beat. So ito nga palang processing sa beat, especially sa mga bosses, is pretty much heavily inspired by the technique of Jason Joshua. First, the 808 is nakarot sa drum B. Dito ko nilalagay yung mga bass and 808s ko. So in this bus, merong Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. I'm just aiming dito na mag-hit lang yung meters sa negative 1. And then our bass para mag-add ng extra body sa 808. This next is black box to add a little bit of harmonic saturation. I like this plug-in kasi it adds volume without adding voltage sa mix. And then a transient designer para mag-add ng extra smack sa tone. And I've got Pro Q3. This is just a safety net just in case medyo boomy yung sound ng 808. So if that happens, kinakat ko lang siya up to 20 hertz. And then moving on a tie is on my kick. So basically I just routed all of the other instruments including yung kick sa iisang bus. They all goes to the drum C which has the same plug-in chain from the 808 bus. And these two buses, drum B, which has the 808 on it, and drum C, which has the kick and all of the other instruments, itong dalawang bus is nakaroot dito sa drum M. Okay, so itong drum M, meron itong 8 NLS channel bus. So I learned this, or shall I say I stole this technique from Jason Joshua. This makes the drums hit more by adding these NLS buses. And by the end of the chain, meron itong Pro Q3 just to add a little bit shine sa my top end.
And then the drum M goes to the drum all bus. Meron lang itong standard clip. So this makes the overall drum smooth a little bit, but still it keeps it slappy and punchy. So let's move on to my vocal section. First is the lead vocals. Chillin lang ang mood, lagi nakatulala Hawa ko ang bote, sabay tuwang tuwa I'm sitting like a king, kahit wala namang pera Ganyan lang ang buhay kapag marunong tumira First is auto-tune And then meron itong RDSer to tame the harshness of the SS Next is SSL channel, boosting the highs, mid-range, and cut ng konti sa my low end Next is our vox, this is one of my favorites kasi it makes the vocal na mala in your face ang tunog. And then vitalizer, nag add ito ng extra body and presence of vocals. Next is soothe, this is to tame yung harshness of vocals, just remember to lower down the mix kasi this type of plug-in is not good if naka 100% ito sa mix. Chillin lang ang mood, lagi nakatulala. Next is EQ. Now for some reason, yung mga plugins na in-add ko before this is nag add ng extra low end. Kaya ni-roll off ko lang siya dito ng konde. RDSer again to tame the harshness of the consonants. Next is Vintage Verb. Just a simple plate reverb lang. Chillin lang ang mood, lagi nakatulala. And for the delay, typical settings for quarter note lang din ito na naka pong mode. Dito na tayo sa verse doubles. Have EQ, our Vox, another EQ na naka reserve for sweeping, thus our comp, Quig Child 670. SSL EQ, thus ito Doubler 4, ito yung nagpapa wide sa doubles. Next is the Esser, Vintage Verb, and H Delay. So, dito naman sa verse ad libs. Splash! Ay. This chain is galing doon sa verse doubles. I just removed the doubler 2 and replaced it with this C4. And for the second ad libs naman, I just changed yung delay dito. Naka 8th note delay ito still in ping pong mode and naka filter effect yung EQ. So ito yung sound and vocals with all the plugins na naka engaged. Chillin lang ang mood, lagi nakatulala. Hawa ko ang bote, sabay tuwang tuwa. I'm sitting like a king, kahit wala namang pera. Ganyan lang ang buhay kapag marunong tumira. Damn. Moving on sa my hook. Chillin. Chillin lang ang mood, chillin. Yeah. Itong hook is very much the same vocal chain from the lead vocals. I just added MC404 to control the lows and mids. Thus, I increased the reverb dito sa my hook. And also for the delay, naka side chain ito. So whenever the vocal stops, dun lang papasok fully yung delay. So for the second verse naman is, I will not explain this kasi the same routing lang ito. So second lead verse goes to the first lead vocal chain. All of the second verse doubles goes to the first verse double chain. And yung mga second verse ad libs goes to the first verse ad libs chain. So basically, same lang sila ng timpla and also to save CPU power na rin. Chilling, chilling ang mood, chilling. Ano na ang mood ko? Sobrang ka na para nakatake ng coding. Proud DC, nakaplay sa music ko. Kahit bago pa ang DC, isip ko. And that's it guys, kung paano magmix ng multitrack session dito sa FL Studio. I do hope you learned something new na naman dito. Please like and share this video if you found this very helpful guys. And subscribe ka na din if di ka pa nakasub sa channel ko. Thanks for watching guys, happy mixing and bye-bye.